Did you know that each and every month in Canada, there are nearly one million Google searches looking for the meaning of life? <laughs> There's a group of researchers at a Stanford University that are studying this very question. What does it mean to lead a life of meaningfulness? And what they've discovered is two things. One is, is that happiness is about me in this present moment and what I need and want. Those individuals who ha lead a life of meaningfulness have the ability to take their past, their present, and their future experiences, which ultimately provides a trajectory in which they wish to travel. These individuals also have the innate ability to take the happy, the sad, the good, and the bad experiences in life and extract the value that each and every one of those has. For those of us who've run a marathon, you'll understand the adrenaline that's pumping through your veins at the start line. You find yourself at kilometer 30, 32, your brain wants to quit, your body wants to quit, but yet you found a way to push through that to the finish line. And by the time you conquer that line, you feel like you're on top of the world. This is the very process that these individuals who lead a life of meaningfulness go through each and every day. They have the ability to extract that value from the good and bad alike. They have such a deep set, rooted sense in terms of their value that it doesn't really matter. They're not looking for the five-step easy plan on Google to a meaningful life, but rather they're seeking clarity and understanding and defining what they stand for, what they stand against. These individuals, what, once you have a, a clear understanding of where you're trying to go and what that path looks like, and if you don't understand what that is, you'll find yourself caught up on the treadmill of life. You'll be infected with busyitis. You'll be running and running and running and not quite sure where you're running to, let alone why you're running there, other than the fact you don't want to fall flat on your face. You're seeking those moments of happiness and chasing them. And before you know it, you're chasing it down the path of heart attack, stroke, cancer, anxiety, stress, and the list goes on and on and on. But these individuals who lead a life of meaningfulness, they're not investing the money to buy happiness, buy stuff. Rather, they're, they're taking the time to purposely pause and understand what they stand for, who they truly want to be. They recognize that 40% of their daily habits are conducted truly through, uh, their, their daily activities are conducted through habit. So they take the time and invest in creating the positive habits that are going to serve them along their path. They understand what they're searching for, what they're moving towards, and what that path looks like. And the rest is easy from there. Now we've talked about a lot of abstract, complex ideas in terms of values and direction and purpose and meaning. And without having a very purposeful place and time to look at these and park them, we find ourselves back on that treadmill again. Journaling is not just for hormonal teenage girls. In fact, some of history's most influential game changers were daily journalers. The people who led countries, changed the face of, of technology in the world in which we know today, took the time to pause and just be. The time to truly to reflect and understand who they are, what they stand for, what they stand against. They've invested that time. And once you begin to jot down those ideas in a journal, you're going to begin to understand who you are. You're going to begin to identify the vitamins in your life and the toxins in your life. Why is it that every single morning when I come into the office, Jimmy just gets under my skin? But rather than allowing Jimmy to push you back onto that treadmill, you're not sure where you're going, you have a place now in which you can park those and figure out how you can design your life around Jimmy. 
you begin to monitor and track your progress. You know where you're going, but now you're processing your daily activities and you can truly feel that growth. You're beginning to feel as though you're alive. Uh, you're moving through those milestones. You now have a purposeful reason to celebrate those moments of happiness that we talked about. You now have a really darn good reason to celebrate. Beginning to get those ideas down and values that you stand for and the direction in which you're trying to go on black and white, on a piece of paper, yes, a piece of paper, and you begin to analyze your daily activities and your process and what's happening and experiences, you now have a place to determine what you want to filter and what you want to keep. What volunteer act opportunities do I want to say yes to? What birthday parties do I want to say no to? When you have all of these ideas down on paper in black and white, it's quite amazing the patterns in which you're going to see. You're going to begin to understand and realize the cycles and the habits that you're living on a daily basis, and now the power is all in your hands. Life truly is a journey. It's not a destination. This was the legacy that Ralph Waldo Emerson left behind. He was one of the journalers that we just saw on the screen. I truly understand, I truly believe that he understood the power of that journal, and he leveraged it along that path of meaningfulness. And my question to you is, is what is your purpose and meaning in life? I certainly don't have that answer for you. The person beside you doesn't have that answer. Only you hold the power to unlock that mystery. Pablo Picasso, he was one of the other journalers that we saw, he said that the meaning of life is to find your gift, and the purpose of life is to give it away. So I thank you for allowing me the opportunity to share this remarkable tool, and I hope that I've planted some seeds that will set you forward along your journey. Thank you. Thank you.